What's up guys? It's November where it's cold and rainy and miserable. But there is one bright lining to November because it is backyard rink season. That's right. We're building a backyard rink and Mason's going to help. Hey Mason, you going to help build a rink? Yeah. Nice. Mason, you just grab that side and we're just going to lift it to the backyard, okay? Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> You got it? No? Okay. We should probably take it off the skids first. As is tradition, we open the rink with the Lang skates. Oh, shoot. And this, you gotta point it at. Yeah, there you go. You gotta make sure that you can see what's going on in the screen. Ta da! Let's see what we got. This is the new system from Iron Sleek. It's called the drop-in rink. It's supposed to be really easy to put together. They're sponsoring this video. Let's head to the backyard, set this thing up. Good job, buddy. Sure, I can help you trap yourself. Uh-oh. Are you trapped in here? Yep. Uh-oh, I trapped! <laughs> Uh-oh, I trapped! Hold me here! It's, it's done. There it is, Mason. That's your rink. Do you like it? Yeah. Perfect. We just have to put a little water in there, let it freeze, and you can skate in there. Okay. Sound good? Sounds good. Perfect. All right. See you later. That's the rink right there. It's not going to be massive for two reasons. One is this little guy, uh, pretty much for him. If I want to go for a rip, I mean, I'm on the ice enough. So I figure there's no point in getting a massive rink. The other thing about getting a massive rink is the bigger the rink, the more maintenance. So the more snow to shovel and the more water to flood. And also the last one is my yard isn't really that flat. Let me show you. It pretty much keeps on sloping down. If you get a really big rink, and you have a slope in your yard, you'll have to have really big boards. So a smaller rink is a lot easier to find a somewhat flat spot to put it. You don't have to worry too much about a massive slope over time. This one is gonna be just big enough for Mason to skate around in. Let's start putting it together. Apparently this rink is really easy to build, so we're gonna do it with uh, no video breaks, see how long it's gonna take. Mason, let's go. Silver muscle. thing about this uh, system is that they have corner pieces not a lot of rinks have that corner it's a nice touch another benefit to the iron sleek system is that the boards are just solid plastic so they're not hollow no water will get inside of them uh, also good for the puck rebounds looks like Mason went back inside I'm gonna go grab him and see if he uh, can help me build this last part of the rink I went for one and I got two <laughs> so they're both gonna help set up So those are the boards, but we still need to put on the brackets because there's a lot of water that's gonna be in there. You wanna keep these boards from collapsing outwards, so you gotta put brackets on each of these pieces. Daddy? Yeah? You need to go to hockey soon. Oh yeah, I know. We're just finishing up this and we'll go to hockey, okay? Almost done. Square it up a little. It's good. Now we gotta stake it. You maybe you can help me with them. I can get you to put one in each hole. 
See these little holes right here? So I'll unwrap them. I'm gonna go get a hammer and you put one in each hole. That sound good? Okay. Awesome. Those are little holes. Yep. You just take one, right? And you put it right in this hole and press down a little bit. And then I'll come back and pound them all the way in. There we go. We got the boards, the brackets, and we got it staked in. That is set up. I would say on a scale of difficulty, it's certainly an improvement over the older systems. With the older systems, you have to square the yard and do all these measurements beforehand before you put it up because if you're off by an like inch, they won't fit together. This one, you can make some adjustments on the fly, which I really like. The boards fit together really easily. The brackets, like you saw, they slide right in there, and then you just nail the spikes in, and you're good to go. Uh, nailing the spikes in, it's simple. It's, it's like nailing a, a nail into a board. It's you know no more difficult than that. So if you've done that before, you can nail those spikes in, unless you hit a rock, and I guess maybe just skip that one or work your angles. They do give you a couple different spike locations. So, I mean, if there's a rock there, you could probably... Hey, I'm trying to shoot a video here, buddy. You could figure it out. And you might notice it's a little bit small, but the nice thing is you can expand it as you go. So I got the small one, it's just for Mason. If next year I want to make it bigger, I just got to buy a few more boards, boom, it expands. The next year a little bit bigger, buy a few more boards, bigger liner, we're good. We still have two boxes left, so I'm going to find my half of a scissor. Let's see what's inside. Oh, I like the looks of that. This is a shovel. The problem with snow shovels is they're just too small. So they included an extra large one. It's basically just a snow pusher. It's to do a quick clear of the rink. With a rink that size, I'll do two laps and I'm gonna have that thing cleared. That is awesome. And the guys at Iron Sleek said that if you order a rink kit with my coupon code, they're gonna send you one of these for free. So check that out at the end of the video. I'll drop the link in that coupon code. And inside the other box, this is a liner. This will last you about two or three years if you're really careful with it a year if you just tear it all up. So I'm gonna leave this until a little later because it's pretty windy right now. I don't want it to blow away. I'm gonna wait until say early December, put a little water in there and then throw these things on top. That's gonna protect the liner. Then the rink will be complete. The snow and rain in December will do the rest of the fill for me. That way I don't have to just have some crazy high water bill. I'd say as far as storage goes, Iron Sleek probably would be the most compact rink. I've tried a bunch of different ones. Uh, and they have a lot of different options out there. I think their cheapest rink kit is $180. That's just if you're getting the brackets and then you can uh, build the board yourself out of uh, plywood. So if you wanna get started building backyard rinks, they definitely have a lot of accessories. It's a one-stop shop. If you wanna use my coupon code, Coach J, you're gonna get 5% off and you get a free shovel as well. I'm gonna quickly clean up. I gotta put this stuff away until uh, early December and have that rink going. But right now I gotta get to the rink. Mason has a hockey practice. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one. Dad? Uh-huh. Well. Thank you. You're doing a pretty good job yourself. <laughs> it's supposed to be a mini rink. It's so little. Yeah. Are you supposed to that? Just throw me and made it put her around on. Yeah! It's not flat enough. It's too much of a slope. Yeah. Oh yeah, we gotta leave soon, eh? Thanks, buddy. Keep them coming. Yeah, that was fun while it lasted.